Hi guys, I'm gonna watch Peaky Blinders. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be reacting. This is gonna be me. I'll drop you to a Panema. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> Spooky man. So I, I have no idea what this show is about, really. I know we got. A guy called Thomas Shelby. That's about it, man. I don't know anything, man. I think the final season's coming out at the moment, so... Yeah, bro. Excited. Is everyone scared of bro? Is he spooky? He wants his fortune told? This is an astrology guy? They're doing a magic spell to make her win a race. To win a race? So he's, he's a racer? Fair enough. Brumtown 0121. Did it say what year it is? I wasn't paying. It's like 1800 something, I think. True. This show's been around for years and like everyone says it's good, so I'm excited to watch it, bro. Is that meant to be a fresh fade? I don't rate the kids' fade, you know. Mine's better. Sure. Wait, so he has a secret. What? What is that? Okay, so this is the bet betting place, yeah? Hor so the horse race? They're doing a horse race, right? This is not what I expected. I'm not gonna lie, but... I don't know, man. I'm down for it, man. As long as the show's good, I don't care. Tommy! Tommy! We don't mess with Chinese. Look at the book. <laughs> Chinese have quarters of their own. We don't mess with Chinese. That sounds a bit racist, mate. He's getting banned off Twitter instantly, man. Bloody army! I think, Arthur, I think, so that you don't have to. Oh, shit! Train, I love trains. I love trains. You guys know I love trains. I love trains. Robbery prime suspects. Okay. Arthur Shelby. Okay. So he's related to my main man, Thomas. Is he his older brother or something? Presumably. He doesn't look like his dad. So they've done a fucking robbery. Munitions robbery. Okay. Interesting. Fucking cut in your wages. That is your reward. Raise a hand, all those who want to... The workers' revolution. Fair enough, man. I mean, couldn't be me, bro. Why don't they just start an online business? That's what they should be doing. I'm telling you. Tune. Da da da. Ba ba. There he is. Why has everyone got dead fade, bro? I mean, it's not. It's not literally not a fade, but. Take a mile this road. guy, what is your mate? Your top, your fucking head top, dusty, bro. What the fuck is that? Something about a robbery. Ah, oh, shit. A robbery. Oh shit! Well, what's go? What's going on, man? What's this? What is up? Home. We're all home in England. Oh. You're not in France. Okay. PTSD. Shit, man. That's fucked. It's alright. Oh, God. Mr. Shelby, I'm sorry. It's alright. You go home to your wife now, Danny. What war did they fight in? Is this post-World War One? Am I just chatting shit when I said it was in the 1800s? I don't know. I'll, I'll check. I'll figure it out at some point. Maybe you'll have to put a bullet in my head someday, too. Huh? That's probably some kind of foreshadowing for something. This guy has a dead trim, that's all I'm saying, man. That's the only judgement I'll make for the moment. Oh shit, that's the guy. Is he spot- he's not- wait, has he just spotted... Fucking... I thought that was H. <laughs> Look at me show you a magic trick, you can have this dick oh, Get up off your ass, you mum pink pig. Oh, what the fuck did you do that for? He's lying around. You probably shouldn't leave guns lying around, man. Also, why did he fall over when she slapped him? Because it looked like she hit him really lightly. Why didn't you tell me? 
I'm telling you. True. This whole bloody enterprise was women's business while you boys were away at war. What's changed? Okay, so this is after World War One. then. I'm not 100% sure what the Peaky Blinders is, yeah? Some kind of... Some some kind of criminal organisation type beat, I reckon, but... We'll see, man. Oh, Gross, who would have sex? I wouldn't do that. Bruh. Bro really just fucking whipping through the hood, man. This is the hood. Nothing happens in that factory without you knowing about it. Speak. I picked up the wrong fucking crate. Ah. The boys dropped it to Charlie Strong's yard as Oh, so did they jack fucking munitions instead of bikes? Okay. By accident. Shit, man. Holy Fortnite RPG, mate. I can see how this is gonna cause a bit of a stir. Don't fucking hit him in the church. So God's watching. Come on. You sell those guns to anyone who has use to them. You will hang. No, he won't. There's like six seasons. So he's stolen some fucking guns and shit. That's a bit mad, bro. I should probably try and remember characters' names. I don't know who she is, but I know we've seen her before. Spooky man under the bridge? Oh, it's that guy. Well, I'm not doing it here again. I got covered in mud last time. Did she say that they shagged under the bridge and got muddy? That's a bit. So she's one of the peaky blinder cunts. Um, she is in a relationship with Dead Trim, man. I'm just a poor communist frog with a big mouth. He's the communist! Commie! <laughs> Aida, is that her name? Okay, fair enough. That's so gross. This shot is sick. Look at it. Look at all the fucking smog. You must be fucked on your lungs living in fucking London. Like, 100 years ago. It's, pretty, it's still pretty bad now, probably, but like, the amount of shit that's just floating in the air. How would you know? And too pretty. They'd have you up against a wall. She needs to prove that she can, like, not get sexually assaulted. That is the guy. This is the guy with the fucking files on the Shelbys. The blind owes at sea cut out the tongues of those who talk. Okay. You are worse than them. Oh. God damn you for soiling your uniforms. So these are like police type men. I don't trust any of you. Fair enough. Until you earn my trust. That's how it should be, though. God help those who stand in our way. Okay. This guy's waging war on the fucking commies and the Peaky Blinders, and... Fair enough. Seems like the bad... He's gonna be the big bad man of the series, probably. I want a blow job off both of you before they let the ordinary people in. Why you go? Thank you that time. Oh no! Yeah, you're gonna be one giving the blow job now, mate. Way. Oh shit, he's blooded. Oh fuck. Do I have to blur this on YouTube? I don't know, man. Damn, look at his lip. Arthur, shall we? Shit, man. <laughs> shit, man. <laughs> What's he doing? What fucking robbery? I'm not fucking lying. Alright? I'm not fucking lying. I know. Oh. Really? That is well within my power to have you and the rest of your scum family face down on the canal before the year is out. Damn. We can help each other. Uh-huh. Is he gonna help him? That's the question, mate. Eh? Well, he's gonna end the scene without telling me. F okay. Where's your dark room? Okay. Right, lads. Will it be two? Is this, like, romance music? Are you a whore? Because if you're not, you're in the wrong place. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, bro. <laughs> okay. That guy looks like H, man. 
He looks so much like H. They said Mr. Churchill sent him to Birmingham. National interest. Churchill? Oh shit, man. Is looking at me. Oh, now Tommy's back. He's got a chub on for this. Get, bro. She's not. She seems quite nice, actually. Seems like a respectable young lady. Fair enough, mate. No way she didn't take off her fucking bra. Chat shit, bro. This is a TV show. This isn't real. But they have contraception anyway. He just, she just said he emptied his balls. Like, where, bro? Why is it not? You know, I'm, I don't need to go into this. I'll just, I'll just forget about it. I don't know what the deal is with Thomas, bro. I'm not sure what, what's going on in his head, you know. I mean, I guess that's the point. I think he's meant to be a bit mysterious for the moment. Is he having a dream about... Oh, shit. Okay. Bro has PD PTSD as well. Bro. Trauma is bad, man. Trauma is actually fucked. No, 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 no. No, don't. Oh, shit. Fuck. That's not good. Oh, fuck. Oh, that. Yeah. That is really unfortunate. Shit, man. That's not even his fault as well, really. Like, you can't blame him. Like, his brain is fried. Well, there's, no, there's no need for that guy to pull a knife on him in the first place, man. He was just sat on a fucking chair outside his building. To me, there is no distinction between any of the above. Okay. Yeah. Joe's. So they don't, they don't know who's got the gun. If there are bodies to be buried, dig holes and dig them deep. Damn, Churchill. Damn it, Winston, bro. Okay, calm down. This is serious, man. It goes all the way up to Churchill, bro. Winston Churchill. Fortune drops something valuable into your lap. You don't just dump it on the back of the cuts. Yeah. Fair enough. It's pretty serious. Sorry, for this first episode, man, like, this shit's got pretty serious, you know? Oh my god, no way. No way. I think... Tommy Shelby's gonna fall in love with her some or some kind of shit like that and she's gonna betray him or not whatever something like that but I think that's gonna be the beef bro because of the music they were playing when when he met her for the first time I thought she was gonna be like an innocent person but to be fair it wouldn't make much sense that she'd want to come and work at that dog aids pub to be fair I suppose yeah she's just I probably should have suspected there was some ulterior motive. You have any last requests, comrade? What? Wait, what's gonna... What's going on here, man? Is Tommy gonna kill him? Don't bury me anywhere there's mud. Okay. Promise me. Shit, man. Bury me on a hill. And tell Rosie where. Fuck, bro. Bro, this is... I'm sure this did happen as well, man. Like, I can't imagine the trauma you get from being in the war. Are we going to see him die? Okay, yeah, we're going to... Well. Holy shit, bro. <laughs> I, I'm just speechless. That's a, that, is, that is crazy. This TV show is mad, bro. After one episode. What the frick? That scene, I was just... Oh, man. Bro. What? Oh, okay. Oh, uh, oh. Uh, okay. How did they fake it? I guess he just shot something at him that, like, sort of hit him hard enough to knock him out and, like, exploded blood back onto his face. Bro, I thought he was dead. I mean, fair enough. 
How did that? How did? How did? How was that fake though? Like that could have gone wrong quite easily, right? Like, what did they shoot? What did he? What did Tommy shoot him with? What is she from? I recognize the, the actor. I don't know what he's from. Oh, what is? Whoa, it's gonna it's probably gonna piss me off, but I can't. I can't remember. Can't figure out who she is. Spooky spy woman. Stay away from her. Keep calling her a whore. Bin that. Come on, man. Okay, so that 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 was Peaky Blinders, season one, episode one. And yeah, that, no, that, that was a bit insane, man. Like that's the that scene killing Danny. I mean, he didn't die, but you know what I mean. Like I was, I, I was like so hooked on that scene, bro. Like I don't know. Anyway, that episode seemed to set up a lot of plot lines, so I probably don't remember them all off the top of my head, but yeah. Now I'm interested to see the next episode, for real. Uh, yeah, if you're watching this on YouTube, I feel like most of the series should be up on Patreon, full unedited reactions already, so if you want to go check that, then you can, and I'll be releasing these one episode a week. I reckon maybe I'll change it to two episodes a week i don't know i don't know how it's gonna go but we'll see anyway all right gang welcome back to peaky blinders today we're watching episode two of season one i don't know what to expect man plenty of plot lines open in the last episode i enjoyed it quite a lot i specifically enjoyed like the exploration into the ptsd so i hope we get a bit more on that and just generally more stuff on uh I don't know, man. Yeah, I'm just excited to see more. Like, it just set up a lot of plot lines, really. And now I need to see them follow through and pay off. So, yeah, let's get into it, man. Okay, what we got? A little car zooming along, mate. Fair enough. Whoa, hey, look at that. That's a big circus. That looks pretty... That looks sick. That's a really cool shot. I really like that. Myself, I'd rather live among pigs. One tummy. Not as beautiful. Doesn't like the gypsies, I see. Damn. What do you know about France, you Warshire gypsy bastard? <laughs> she. What is this? They're not gambling for horse, car, horse, car. I don't know. Sounds like a bad idea to me, Thomas. Yeah. You knew it. You knew it. Tommy, you bloody idiot. Shut up, Arthur. I won. <laughs> <laughs> so he's just having a little drive in the car. You leave, boys, laughing at my brother. Oh. Oh shit. Tommy! I asked you come a on. question. Tommy, come on, it's just a crack. He's beefing him, man. Once she bought she got the lingo, Papa she's lingo, once he lacks a Roma. Their granddad was a king. Yeah, but his mouth was a diddy coy hole. Oh no, that's the oh no, he's he's done it. He's done it now, man. Shit, that was that was a hard punch. Holy shit. Oh wait, no, that was a knife. Did he, wait, did he just knife him? Has he got a knife? No, he doesn't. He is just beating him, okay. Okay, man. Jesus. Shit, man. Arthur's beating him down too, and my driller age. Did he, he's, he, no, he must have had it. Tommy must have, like, sliced his head open, right? Because there's no way he has a scar like that. I, I wasn't 100% sure what I could see, but I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure he sliced his head open. Okay, that was that was crazy, man. But yeah, they said that uh, the, the Shelby's are like the the grandsons of king of a king. Don't know who that which king. We're gonna find that out hopefully. Every bullet will be brought to me for inspection. Now, take your possessions. Okay, so they're just searching everywhere for the arms that have been stolen oh they're little fucking coppers jogging down the road okay home invasion oh okay what why 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 are they beat why are they beating everyone up not again man stop stop it bro are they gonna get they're gonna you should get off. You should get. You should dismount right now. This is a good time to dismount. Okay, so this is they're just raiding the communists for whatever reason. So is this like the commun little communist neighborhood? You have to jump, Peter. I'll catch you. Come on. 
Go on. Look at this. A prescription for iron tablets for Ida fucking show. Oh, shit. So she's just been found, like, they've escaped, but she's been found out anyway. What are you going to do, Freddy? Me? I'm going to have to leave town for a bit. In the middle of the shag, mate. What a shame. Oh, shit. He's coming to speak to her. Here you didn't make it to France. Oh. Inspector Campbell. Oh, no. I've heard of you. That's weird. Something precious, something stolen. Nah, no. Sorry, misunderstood your intention when you. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Fair play to her, bro. <laughs> Next time, I want to talk to the boss. Friday, ten o'clock. And when I say the boss, I mean Thomas. Ah, okay. <laughs> He wants to speak to my man Thomas. I mean, he does know he does know where the guns are, so you know. I wonder what's going to happen with Ida because they know that he was around at funny commie man's house. I don't know his name. I need to like make sure I actually learn the characters' names. So go on, drink your beers, get out. You better show people you're still the cocks of the walk. And All right, okay. Where was she sleeping, Paul? Thought you didn't care for women's business. Oh. <laughs> he knows you're the boss. He wants to meet you. I wonder if he is going to go and meet him. You don't parley when you're on the back foot. We'll strike a blow back first. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Yeah, okay. Striking a blow back. Come on then, let's see what we're going to do. Little boy. V, what? What are you doing? We're having a fire. He's just stolen the picture. Well, oh, so they're just gonna burn fuckloads of pictures of the king. Okay, that, that sends a message. It does send a message. Fair enough. You said I would be protected. You're protected. <laughs> Bro doesn't feel safe. You see, we don't want our beloved king looking down and seeing the things that have been done to us. So we are taking down his pictures. But why are you burning them? We went through hell, our king. Walked through the flames of war. Write all this down. And now we're being attacked in our own homes. These new coppers over from Belfast, breaking into our homes and interfering with our women. We don't think our king would want to see that happening. He's sending a good message. What capacity do you speak? No capacity. I'm an ordinary man. I won gallantry medals at the Somme. He's at the Somme? Fair enough, he's at the Somme. That's respect, bro. He, he actually said, like, that was a good little speech he made right there. And discovered that they were burning pictures of the king. Of the king? <laughs> I will go down there immediately and uh, arrest those involved. No, you most certainly will not. You can't arrest all of them. I put you in Birmingham for one very <laughs> specific <laughs> Churchill's reason. not happy, man. It names Mr. Thomas Shelby. The report <laughs> mentions he's a war hero. Shit. <laughs> okay, well, he's got a lead on the situation. I mean, he wanted to speak to Thomas anyway, but yeah, shit, everything's leading back to Thomas. Cold, and then I had to go for a wee. Then I was with this bear on a boat. What is she going on about? Ada. How late are you? Is she pregnant? One week. Oh, shit, she's pregnant. Five weeks. Seven if you count weekends. I think it's a lack of iron. <laughs> I literally said this last episode, man. Contraception anyway. Did you just say he had balls? Like, where, bro? Why is it not? You know, I'm not going to go into this. If I tell you, you'll tell them and they'll cut him to pieces. Not if he marries you, they won't. Huh? What's going on? Up. Just passing it on. Declaration of war. The whole Lee clan. The whole Lee clan. So that's that's the gypsies from the beginning, I presume. You mind how you speak to me? <laughs> Forgive me, Uncle. <laughs> bro, he's not he's not he's not pulled that off very well there, bro. Tried to get some respect. Yeah, I guess Tommy keeps making enemies. He can't make that he can't make too many enemies, otherwise like He'll just be overwhelmed, right? Shh. And Francis used to say it's just a musical band turning up. 
It's just trombones and tubers. That's oh, so is this like a like a shell shocked horse? Because I guess that probably did used to happen, right? Yeah. Look, it's the spooky woman looking at Tommy, man. What? Whoa! I, I'm so sorry, Mr. Shelby. Oh, she's trying to get his attention. I'd like there to be one night a week when they're singing. Harry was too afraid to ask you, so. But you're not. I am. But I love to sing. Is she gonna try and get with him? You got a nice dress? Wanna take you to the races? Fair enough. Is that how that used to work? Does he just like pay women to go places with them? She's going to do it, obviously, because she's trying to, she's undercover trying to figure out what he's doing, but yeah. So they're all betting on the races now, or they're all just like sorting out the bets or something like that. And Paul wants to see you. Who? Who wants to... Polly. Polly, okay, calm. I know she's called Polly now because I looked at Google. Oh shit, what she said. Something sounds serious. So I guess she's probably in love with Freddy. Whether or not he feels the same is a different conversation, but yeah. Oh, she told him that she told him that uh, uh, Ada's pregnant. Okay. Tell me the man's name, Ada. Rudolph Valentino. <laughs> That's cool. There's strangling in the background. Oh, he got the film stopped. Get out! All of you! Oh, these people paid for this film, I don't know. I guess, it, no. That's a shame. Freddy fucking Thorn. Ah! Your best mates in school, the man who saved your life in France. Go on, cut him! Cut him up and chuck him in the cut! Oh shit, man. Is he gonna do it? Obviously didn't teach you well enough. Rule one, you don't punch above your weight. She wants Freddy to know she's having his baby. She deserves an opportunity to do the right thing. I say we give them a chance. Yeah, give him a chance. I would agree. He sees machine guns and rifles and ammunition and some glorious revolution. Okay. So, he wants like the support of the Peaky Blinders for his communist revolution. Oh. Oh. Did he just... Damn them for what they did to you in France. I'm really liking the performances in this show, like, already episode two, I'm not... Yeah, like, I'm sure I'm gonna get more invested as time goes on, but like, the performances are genuinely really good already. I was 16. And I didn't dare tell anyone. Polly Freddy will come back. In the end, I did it myself. Yeah, you should probably have to do it on her own, odds are, if she's gonna do it. On your wedding day. Have a good man on your arm, and you'll say, Polly, thank you for common sense. Take her advice. She clearly is really like she's really experienced it. I would agree. Like, don't raise the baby on your own. Definitely, it's definitely gonna fuck up your psyche having a abortion there. So, and I guess abortions like a hundred years ago would have been a bit shit, wouldn't they? So, come uh, on. It's probably, yeah, it would have been dangerous having an abortion in that time. But probably almost, maybe more dangerous having the baby out of wedlock, so... So we were around the CM side. I think perhaps we could be. Is his business, like, betting, then, for the horse races? Is that what the Peaky Blinders business is? My men found this in the bedroom oh. of a known communist. That's not good. He will be returning to the city. Okay. I'll make him part of our deal. He, he, so he probably will return and Tommy will have to do something about it then. I want you to put in a word with the Chief Inspector of Gloucestershire that his men should leave me alone when I make my move. I mean, he's, if he does that, then he's just a corrupt inspector, correct? I have the guns. Okay, he's just told him he has the guns. What guns? Listen. We're not here to play games. So wait, wait. This might be bad for him, just telling me, telling him that he has the guns. And if I am taken into police custody, those guns will be shipped to Liverpool. From there, they will be sent directly to Belfast and sold to the 
the Irish Republican Army. <laughs> oh no. He's got it set up good. If those guns reach Belfast, your life in the force is over. Fair play. I'm a fair man. It's a fair offer. Yeah, it honestly does sound like a fair offer. Do we have a deal? Still makes him a corrupt policeman though, but yeah, I mean, it is a f trade for a trade, you know? No, why would I shake the hand of a man? We didn't even fight for his country. Ooh, shit. That's... I mean, I understand not fighting for your country. Like, I understand why you wouldn't, because it is scary, but it's like... You, you Like, if everyone's going, you ha you got to do it, man. Like, oh, there she is. You must do everything you can to get close to him. Oh, yeah, okay, so they, Yeah, so I, that's what I predicted. So is he just going to try and get the guns regardless before Tommy has would be able to without like so he's not going to take Tommy into custody and he's going to try and get the guns before anything else is done with them so then he doesn't have to uphold his side of the bargain my heart is with you in what way man the what what, what is this is this like Oh, this... I hope we get to see, like, the flash... Like, a, like a full, like, a full war flashback that's not, you know... Mate, the red light shining on it as well. That's sick symbolism as well with the... Man, this show is good. This show is good. Oh, is someone going to try and steal the girls? Not already. Surely not already. Oh, the horse. Tom, no. Is it like a? I told you. Tommy. Is it like a diseased horse? Better enemies to have them black blood gypsies. So the leaves have like made the horse diseased. So, and is that? I assume that's the one that's going to race. Right. Oh, I guess it's not going to race. Never got used to seeing horses die. Oh. He likes horses. He's a horse girl. The king will be there. King George. Nope. King Billy Kimber <laughs> and all his men. So we're going to get to see Billy Kimber. What must I do? For two pounds, you'll do what I ask you to do. Two pounds? And I ask you to let me sing. It's part of the deal now, too. Since when? Since you nearly smiled. She's trash. She's doing it. She's doing the thing. I asked around about that pub you said you used to work in. My friends over there. No one has heard of you. Okay. That's suspicious, then. She does look a little bit shook. You're a girl from a good family. Who got herself pregnant. It's not something I want known. Oh, man, he's actually given her a excuse. She didn't even necessarily have one. He's just given her it, and she's just going along with it. Do you think I tell people things? Probably not. Ada's going to... Somewhere to get funny about oh oh no oh shit oh no Freddy uh Tommy got a message to me said get out of town take her with you Oh Tommy didn't send that did he because uh, uh Campbell knew about this so maybe he Campbell probably forged it to cause some beef Can you marry me except yes <laughs> yes. I don't know, I don't know, I'm not sure. He's actually, he actually does want to marry her. Fair play to him. But this is going to cause some issues. We're going to stay here, we're going to marry here. I'm not afraid of Tommy Shelby. Oh, well, this, don't do that, man. Oh, this is, that's an issue. That's a problem, oh no. Holy shit. It's Billy Kimber. Oh, okay, Billy Kimber. Is there any man here named Shelby? This is... Oh, no. Everyone else go home. Okay, so this guy has a reputation. This guy... I mean, that's what they said. He controls a lot of stuff to do with gambling, I think. But then you fucked me over. So now you have my undivided attention. What have they done? By the way, which one am I talking to? Who's the boss? Well, I'm the oldest. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> Are you laughing at my brother? Right, he's the oldest, you're the thickest. I'm told the boss is called Tommy, and I'm guessing that's you. Because you're looking me up and down like I'm a fucking tart. We 
just one of you as the boss. I'm Mr. Kimber's advisor and accountant. And I'm the fucking boss, okay? Okay, he's insecure. I am Billy Kimber. What? I run the races. Bro. And you fixed one of them, so I'm gonna have you shot against the post. Shit. Nah, no, that's... Billy's are attacking your bookies and taking your money. Your men can't control them. Perhaps we should listen to what Mr. Shelby okay. has to say. Is this what's happening? Okay. So he needs his help. Pick it up, Pikey. <laughs> no. He's 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 just not. Sit. Sit down. Okay. Well, maybe he's yeah. Maybe he's just doing it because uh, I guess he probably he does he does really did really want this deal. I think. Give yourself a decent haircut, man. We're going to the races. <laughs> Fair enough. We're gonna. I think we're messing with Billy Kimber, bro. All right. So that was Peaky Blinders season one, episode two. Uh, yeah, that was good. I really enjoyed that more than the last one. I think like there was a lot of expansion on the previous plot line so all the stuff with ada and that i don't know and yeah it's just leaving threads open for the next episode and that's what a tv show is supposed to do that's crazy yeah so I'm, I'm excited to see how all these different groups of people and the conflict between them like intertwines together and pays off you know like i don't know it's, it's interesting it's interesting man and i, I think the performance is uh, specifically from Tommy and Polly in this were good man they were really good so yeah and like some of the, some of these scenes are genuinely impressive with the cinematography and the uh, yeah honestly man impressive episode uh uh early access to the full length reaction should be up on Patreon for the next episode go check that out if you want to if you don't then that's fine because you know what you can just watch the youtube videos so cheers for watching everyone bye all right boys so i started this recording already this is my second time recording this however i noticed within about one minute that i did not start the recording so we're all good you i've so I've basically not seen any of this episode yet so yeah anyway peaky blinders season one episode three i've already made an intro so i can't be asked to do it again man so let's just let's watch the thing we're not going anywhere Ada. we're gonna stay here we're gonna marry here with our baby i'm not afraid of tommy shelby you should be afraid of him bro what's thomas gonna get up to in today's episode bro who knows well we're going to the races i don't know if i already said that i might have said that i think we're going to the Cheltenham races oh i don't pay for suits my suits are on the house while the house burns down fair perks of being the area code leader who is the peaky blindness on top your night shift must be dreaming maybe they I mean, are, maybe they're not the peaky blindness did take the guns for who do you speak the people of ireland the irish republican army for the fact for the fucking fact Okay, so the IRA people. So they're properly interested in the the guns. Fair. Why is he singing? Why is he? What? What's he doing? Ah. Uh, what? Is he insane? He's insane. The accents were so thick. It's a wonder you could understand them. Next time I could translate. She just admitted to overhearing his conversation. That's a bit. I don't know, man. I, I don't think she's going to enjoy interacting with Billy Kimber, to be honest. How's Ida, Ada, and Freddie doing? I keep calling her Ida because that's what it sounds like in the Birmingham accent, like to me. But it's Ada. I love you. Ah. Are they, are they married now? I love you too. Like an angel. <laughs> so they're not married yet. Are they not meant to like... I swear you're not meant to see... The bride and groom aren't meant to see each other before like... The, the aisle... Walk up the aisle or whatever. The aisle wouldn't go near them. 
And why are two of them looking to bake guns? How does he know? Oh, I forgot that the girl is a spy. Most of them are great lumps of men. Served in France too, sir. This is a recurring theme, man. I serve my country. <laughs> this guy didn't go fight. Yeah, they didn't respect him because he didn't fight in the war. I mean, yeah, understandable. Who's that? Who is she following? Is that one of the IRA guys? Or is it just some random guy? I, I don't recognize him. He's getting his cock out. No, no, put it away, put it away, put it away. Okay, okay, we're not gonna. Ah! <laughs> Piss on the dog. Oh shit. Oh, that's not good. No, uh. I'm taking you in for interrogation on behalf of the Irish Free State. Oh, okay. So. Oh. Did she manage to, like, pull the truth? Shit. Has she never killed? Has she never killed anyone before? Probably not. Who's watching as well? Someone's watching. Someone's seen that. Ada and Freddie Thorne were married today. They defied your orders. They haven't <laughs> left the city. Uh, I promised I'd run Freddie out of town. Promised who? <laughs> Campbell. You let me deal with Ada and Freddie. It'll end in peace. Is that Thomas's problem that he doesn't consult with anyone else? <laughs> Wash. Wait. Huh? Did she just cough up blood? Did she just cough up blood? Or is that the blood from the guy? I assume that's the blood from the guy because why would she be coughing up blood? 200 pounds, Freddy. For what? For us. For a honeymoon that goes on forever. 200 pounds? That's a lot back then, man. You have to leave the city. You think I can't handle Tommy Shelby? You can't. I'm having trouble these days and I'm twice the man you are. <laughs> oh, she... She's just left the money anyway, so you better... I, d I don't think he's going to go, though, because, like, the plotline would just resolve, you know what I mean? So he's probably not going to go. Like, he's going to have. He's gonna get into some kind of a scrap with Thomas, Tommy, my driller at some point, so... But that's what we're here for, right? We're here for drama, so... Our family connections. You take my progress personally. Family connections. Okay, yeah, so you just kind of want to act like a father figure to her. They're planning on showing up in numbers and robbing your bookies, running chalk and rafflers. You think I can't handle the leaves? Just a word of warning from a friend, that's all. He can't handle them. I doubt he can handle them, right? <laughs> Call me a clock. Right. Let's go. As you know. The same whistles they used to blow to send us over the top, they now blow to try and break us up. So before the special- That's crazy. Are they- yeah, they, they actually the same whistles, that's mad. I mean, I guess that saves money on whistles, but like... I don't know, that's gonna give people PTSD, man, like, make different sounding whistles. Seriously. Tommy, you best have a word with Arthur as well. What's wrong with bloody Arthur? He's got the Flanders Blues again. Who's Arthur? Oh, Ar I know who Arthur is, don't I? I just haven't seen him in a while. I do know who Arthur is. What guns? Oh shit, he doesn't know about the guns. After your meeting, I thought you needed a break. <laughs> what bloody guns, Tommy? We had some luck, some bloody luck. It fell off a wagon into our lap. He got tortured over these guns in episode one, though, didn't he? Also, it's like it's a bit mad how he's like the oldest one, but he's not in charge. I don't know, that's a pretty interesting dynamic that like the middle brother, or at least the second brother. I don't know if he's the middle one, but if there's more, but the second brother is the leader. That's just interesting, you know. Like that's not the kind of dynamic you see very often. Well, now you've gone soft. You've gone soft time. They own the pub now. Everything's for sale to us, Arthur. Oh, yeah, fair enough. 
Mr. Campbell wants an explanation. Today, some rabble-rousing union man brought the BSA out and strike. Freddie Thorne. Oh, shit. That's a not good. Deliver Freddie Thorne to us. We'll take his sister in as an accomplice. She'll get four years for sedition. Oh, shit. Are you concerning me? And your sister goes free. Okay, so he has to turn in Freddy now, otherwise Ada's fricked, bro. That's dumb. That's that's. I mean, I guess the the option is to turn in uh, Freddy, but Polly was gonna try and sort it out, and I I doubt she can. <laughs> Why? He's got a gun to Tom. Wait, he's got a gun to Tommy's head? What? I came to tell you. That's not gonna work, Tommy. Polly must have had a rush up. He's holding the gun way too close to Tommy's head. Like, to if Tommy, like, grabs the his arm and, like, moves it to the side, he'll, he's, he'll do it faster than he can, like, react to pull the trigger, so... There you go, that's exactly what I said, bro. I love her, Tommy. Fair I enough. Loved her since she was nine and I was twelve. This marriage will not stand. Hmm. What's he gonna do about it though? I don't see what he's gonna do. Like how how I doubt Freddy's gonna like back down on that and leave, so he's gonna have to turn him in or kill him, right? I don't see what else he can do. Okay, we're we gonna see a longer flashback. I really want to see what happened in this little flashback, man. I assume it's more and more of it's going to get like shown over over the course of the series. And I just really want to, I really want to see, man, what what happens in this war flashback. Okay, so it's Freddy and Danny, I think was his name. So is someone digging through. What's going on? Oh man, I don't know what's going on. It's tense though. Okay, okay, right, so they've just come through the wall. Oh no. Is that Freddy? Freddy's just been shot. Uh, Dan Danny's got a guy there. Someone's been stabbed. Who's been stabbed? Freddy looks like he got, like, fucked up in that situation, man. Bro, I really want to see the whole flashback. I'm really, I really want to see it. I wonder what their job was. So they're in some like underground tunnels, right? And we ended up bum bumping into the Germans in the flashback. So I don't know. Michelle's beat the sun. That sound, yeah, that tent sound of shovels must be like in his head. Damn, that's that's horrible to just keep having like having that situation replay over and over again in your head, bro. That is bad. <laughs> He's crying. Shit, man. I mean, all this shit must be really stressful, but he must have, like, suppressed so much stuff having been through the wall like that and then having to come back to be... to be Thomas Shelby, you know? Like, it must be very, very hard on you, on, on the brain and the health in general. Said you keep everything locked up? Well, yeah. That's what men do. True. It's got a fair point, man. That's, that's some facts. Men always said the troubles to our mate. What is it you and Freddy are fighting over? Well, this is... She, she's the spy, bro. I mean... I don't know. I don't know if she's going to, like, betray Campbell. Like, I wonder if she actually's going to grow to, like, care about Tommy. I really want to get a cool suit. Like like Thomas Shelby, bro. I don't own a suit anymore because my the last suit I had was back when I was fat, so it doesn't really fit. It's like it looks dumb. It looks massive on me. So I need a new one that fits the new physique, bro. We need more men than that if you to come back alive. It's just me and the girl. Just, it's just him and her. Nobody else. That's crazy. Is it just the two of us going to the races? Something like that. 
you think? Do you think he actually kind of does want to just go to the races with her, just out of like, you know what I mean? Like, it's not just like a a business thing. Like, he actually kind of wants to do it. What's our mission, boy? To stick it to the Lee family, Arthur. That's right. Do they all like drink alcohol to like hype themselves up to do this shit? Because I, I feel like that would probably be a bit helpful. Have a little bit of alcohol, to be honest. Quietly. Wait, wait is the little kid actually going? So when do we share out the cash? Mate, he's got a big knife, bro. Jeez. You're in Tommy's army now, boys. Trust only kin. So they're just gonna buy the lees. Okay, fair enough. I'm here to see it. I'm here to see it. You're a lucky you're with me. You'd be wasting your money on fixed races. I always wondered, how do you fix a race? How should I know? Yeah, how do you fix the race? Lady Sarah, Connemara, you dance with me. Yeah, I think he does actually want to spend the time with her. This is a whole group of people boogieing. I love boogieing in films and TV, bro. That's my favourite part. Okay, that's enough. That's enough of that from me. He's got some balls, that one. And she's got some body, that one. Ah! Objectifying women. No. It's a pleasure doing business with you. Oh, so the leaves are just... They, they... Oh, here we go. Here we are, mate. As business. Fair enough. Oh, shit. That... Oh, ah. Oh. Ah, ah, bro, that was, that looked painful. Oh no! Oh my god! I still wish, but I'll take the old ear off. That, bro, he he just pulled off his ear. That's oh man! Oh man! Not coming to you, this stolen money. By order of the Peaky Blinders. Jesus Christ, bro. Oh my God. Oh man. <laughs> I mean, it's, yeah, I mean, I kind of expected this show would get pretty violent at some point, but damn. And I guess you don't, you don't really see too much of it, but you did actually get to see the guy just, Arthur just, Peel off some of his ear. What the fuck? I want to suggest that from now on, you contract out your racetrack security to the Peaky Blinders. Okay. I say you talk business to my accountant. I want to dance. No oh, shit. Do not let. You should not let this guy on onto onto her, bro. This is gonna be bad. Uh... Your man said it was all right for me to have this dance. Did he? I swear he didn't say anything, but you know, sure. And let me throw a small condition into the mix. What does he want with her? Oh no, don't put her in the deal, that's weird. You go on ahead with Kimbe. Ah, uh, that's not... See what I'm doing here? Is that alright? It's probably not. Whenever you want, just kick him in the balls. I'm a class in a contract. If you want to be part of my organization, you have to make sacrifices. Mm, yeah, but like, if he really doesn't want her to get away, then she can't, right? Like, it's a pretty dangerous thing for her to do. It's a very pretty hat. It really is. You ever been in a house this big? She probably has. Bro. This guy's weird. Oh look, I've dropped something. Pick it up. If I drop a glass on the floor, you pick it up. I want to watch you pick it up. Wow, he's, he's just like trying to get her to do stuff because she's embarrassed. She's like made him feel like embarrassed. Uh, yeah, see, I knew this would happen. I knew this would happen, bro. This is, ah. Oh. What are you doing here? With the better of me, she looks good on the outside. But she has the clap. <laughs> <laughs> She's clapped. 
Uh, man, he's just sacrificed his whatever deal with Billy Kimber just to save her. So like, I think he, I think he, I think he does like actually care about her, and she's gonna end up betraying him in the end, probably. Or she's gonna learn to, or she's gonna like him back. By the end, I was a whore with a clap. <laughs> Why did you change your mind, Thomas? He likes her. He does it. He likes her, bro. It's because it's because like I think it's because he thinks he's finally found a girl who uh, who's like not a whore. You know what I mean? Like, and that's, he's he thinks he's finally found a girl who's like somewhat decent. So he's genuinely. He's actually starting to like her, man. Okay, that, that's what I think's happening. Anyway, that episode was crazy. That action scene where fucking Johnny, like, smashed the guy's head off the sink and then Arthur ripped his ear off, that was crazy. And the little kid with the big... Bro, this episode was crazy, man. Oh, the levels, the levels keep going higher and higher, man. Yeah, I don't know. It's hard to always, like... So much stuff happens every episode. This I sort of like. I'm just thinking, oh man, what do I say at the end? But yeah, ah, oh. yeah, man. I, re I re yeah, this is really good. I, I enjoyed all I enjoyed the Billy Kimber stuff, all the Cheltenham race stuff. Yeah, man, that, that was a good episode. Yeah, anyway, so full early access to early access and full length reaction to the next episode should be up on Patreon, I think. If it's not, then I'm cringe, aren't I, bro? Thanks for watching. See you in Piggy Blinders next episode. Stop recording. Greetings, gang. I'm, I'm back. Uh, fucking Peaky Blinders season one, episode four. Uh, thank you to my Patreon uh, I think he's called Sip T hashtag hashtag hashtag. He's uh, commented on one of my posts and he has uh, given me a lot of important information about like just con general context for the show. And I also had this conversation with my girlfriend. I know why they're called the Peaky Blinders now. It's because of the fucking razor blades in their hats. Okay, so don't roast me. I know. I know that now. Yeah, and I yeah. So thank you to thank you to Sip Tea. That's very helpful. Thanks for my to my girlfriend for telling me some things as well. Anyway, I'm excited. I've it's been a while since I watched the last episode. I'm gonna try and start watching these like in like a, a bunch per series. Like watching it like kind of all at once so that I don't forget what's going on. Because I think that's probably just a good idea, but then release them weekly. Yeah, working on the discipline. Yeah, right. Let's go. So the episode, last episode just ended with... Uh, yeah, Tommy saving Grace from being raped, and she's asked him why he changed his mind, and then the episode ended. So I think... Yeah, I think Tommy... He might like her, uh, you know what I mean, bro, so... Okay, Ada and Frederick going for a little cruise. That looks very, very romantic. Maybe that's their honeymoon, bro. That looks so poggers. Are they actually going somewhere? They've got suitcases. My G. My guy. I, you know, what? Did you just kick a child? Or is it the ball? Okay, it's probably the ball. I don't know what's going to happen with Freddy. Like, are they going to have a standoff this season? Tommy and Freddy? I don't know. I'll see what happens, bro. Who's that? So they're about to fuck... Wait, who are they? Are they IRA men? They're about to fucking pull up with the shanks? Hey, you don't want to cause havoc in the Peaky Blinder establishment, bro. That's not the play. Round these ends, bruvs. Is that Finn? Or is that just a random child? I can't remember exactly what Finn looks like. Finn is the youngest brother, I do know that. Is this kid spying? Okay, so I guess yeah, that's not that's not Finn. That's just some kid that some that maybe those skeng men have sent in to fucking spy on them. It's good boat. John will be here in ten minutes. Oh, no. What's this guy's name? Scudboat. 
That can't be his name, right? So they're gonna are they gonna like raid the Peaky Blinders place while they're gone? Quit. Yeah, okay, so he's a spy for them. Okay, calm. Why have they got like the weapons though? Oh this guy's dead. That's a shame. Sure. Uh Oh, okay. I think, so are these like IRA men coming to avenge that random guy that Grace killed? I think that's what's happening. What the kids need is a mother. So that's why I'm getting married. Does he have this kids? <laughs> Bring it on her all of a sudden. <laughs> it's uh, Lizzie Stock. Lizzie Stark's a strong woman, and I'm sure she provides a fine service for her customers. <laughs> Damn. And do not use that word. Oh, that word's oh. Prostitute over that one. Lizzie Stark never did a day's work vertical. She's changed. No, no, she no. Nah. She has not changed. That is very unlikely. Brave is going where no man's gone before. <laughs> and with this is Stark, John, that is really not what you'll be doing. <laughs> what the bloody hell happened here? The Lees. All of them. Oh, that was the Lees. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, I thought it was the IRA men, too. Yeah, that's the Lees, bro. Okay, fair enough. Wirecutters? I mean, why would they leave Wirecutters? Nobody in mouth. Erasmus Day was in France. Shit. Oh, they booby trapped it. Somewhere in here, there's a home grenade. Holy Jesus. PTSD, bro, as well. If it was in here, it would have blown by now. He set it up just for me. Is it just going to be like some random place that he... Oh, no. Finn, stay exactly where you are. Finn's not going to die, right? <laughs> to climb out exactly the same way you climbed in, okay? <laughs> no, no, Finn! <laughs> oh. Fucking hell, man. He threw that fucking nade very close to some people there. Fair play to Tommy for figuring that out, though. Anyway, as I was saying about Johnny, like, what is all this whore business, bro? Like, is that... I feel like that's not going to pan out very well. But, you know, we'll see. Maybe maybe, the, maybe she has changed. Who knows? So I'm beneath Daichi Koho Propineri. He speaks Romany. Fair play to Thomas. Okay. We're betraying Billy. Okay. You come in here boasting you're going to do someone down and in the same breath ask me to trust you. How can you really trust anyone in this kind of environment, you know? You just kind of have to figure people out and to be able to trust them in this kind of environment. Like, you don't actually, like, have loyalty. You just try and figure out what their motives might be and just act accordingly, really. Like, that's all you can do. Give money away while we rot in here. You talk about revolution. Is that their bed? Damn, that is small. Who are you loyal to, Freddy? Bro, why did it? Why did it? Stop it, bro! Why do they keep doing this, man? Stop! Stop it! Stop! You know what? I ain't, I'm not. I'm not, bro. I would have typed in fucking Pornhub.com if that's what I wanted to see, bro. Like, I don't care if they like. I don't care, but it's like they actually have sex every episode. Anonymous tip off. The address <clears throat> of Stanley Chapman. Stanley Chapman is a bigger fish than Freddie Thorne. I want your word that you'll let Freddie Thorne and my sister leave the city. Are they? Yeah, but they're not. They don't want to leave the city. How are you going to make them? I guess the Peaky Blinders aren't that bad at making stuff happen. But like, Freddie's going to put up a fight. You know. You hold all the cards. That's the plan, probably. On my last day in power, for example, did you and your scum brothers have your heads stoved in with mallets? And spades. Okay, that's a threat. A baby insider would be of no consequence to me. Would be your little brother Finn, and dumped in that part of the adult prison where men have the most appetite for boys like him. Oh, that would be a dark day indeed, Mr. Shelby. This guy's fucked. This guy's 
This guy really got out the wrong side of bed, for real. That is a threat, to be honest. Oh. Nah, 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 he's not doing it. Tommy actually, like, lost his fucking composure. Have we seen that before? I'm not sure we have. But, like, that, that is a threat, bro. This guy is insane. I feel like pretty, a lot of people in this show are pretty insane, though. Is this the, is this the Stanley guy's house? You're fucked. Oh no. Honestly, wouldn't want to get on the wrong side of this guy. He's actually intimidating just because just because of like the systemic power that he has. You know, like he's got the police force, bro. And he's just like he's just horrible. What do you go of your word? My word. Yeah, this guy definitely doesn't honor his word. You think my campaign against Shelby has become personal? Correct. <laughs> Spot on. Is that Polly? Today is her birthday. Tommy did a deal. A return for safe passage for you and Ada. He's given them Stanley and the money. He knows about the Who money. Who told you about the money? Who do you think? Ada. Beef. That's how desperate she is to get out of that rat hole you're keeping her in. He's given him a little wank to try and encourage him to move out of the shithole. Okay, that's what was going on back then. Stanley won't be able to give up my address because he doesn't know it. Is he just going to get tortured to death then because he doesn't know Freddy's address? So all you've done is sign the death warrant of a good man. And if you want me out of Birmingham, it'll have to be in a wooden box. It might be. It might be in a wooden box. We don't... Oh, no. Shit. You lay a hand on our aid and I'll put you in a wooden box myself. He's probably laid quite a few hands on her. Let's be honest, guys. Oh, he's dead. Oh, uh, uh, uh. Damn, have they actually just whipped him to fucking death? Oh my god. John, good luck. Scudboat, isn't it? He is called Scudboat, right? Like, that is his name. The Shelby family has its first legal racetrack pitch. Let's go! As if that's legal still, though. <laughs> Seems kind of sussy still, but, you know, fair play to them, bro. <laughs> Always keep contraband right. near petrol bag moorings. Don't boats get searched? We moor them at junctions. So now she kind of knows that the fucking weapons might be like at a certain port or wharf or whatever. So yeah, fucking nice work, Arthur. Arthur tells me you've been asking questions. Oh shit. About how we run our business. He's onto her, bro. And Do you think he, like, knows what she's up to and he's just not saying? I don't know, man. I'll see you. Okay, so he, he very much suspects that she's a spy. I assume. I need someone who looks right at the big meetings. Epsom, Ascot. Is this a job interview? Arthur says you're good with numbers. So he doesn't suspect her. No Catholic girl would enter a church and forget to make the sign of a cross. Oh dear. I want, like, he's, he's getting there, but like, is, is he figuring it out? Very important detail about my reasons for employing you. True, I predicted this from episode one. You know, I know what I'm doing, bro. My appetite for the work has only increased. <laughs> Damn. Appetite increasing. Is she capping? She's probably capping. I don't know. I wonder. See, I'm wondering if she's actually gonna like fall in love with him and then betray my G Inspector Campbell. Oh, is she the ha? Oh. Um, I, that's offensive. I don't care. I don't care. It's offensive. I don't care, bro. Since I came back from France, I've come to you on any occasion. <laughs> okay. Is the R John says you've changed, and I believe him, and that's good. You don't change from like that very easily. And I farewell. The pleasure's gone by. You mean one last time? <laughs> one last time. You and me. Oh no, don't oh that's not good. Nah, don't do that. Not when like Johnny already wants to marry her, bro. That's not good. Uh Oh shit, Johnny's gonna find this oh, out. Should we go to my lodging? So the past is not. Oh! Past. Oh, true! Okay. Yeah, I get it. I get it. So you just get out of the car. Tommy, please. Just get out of the car. Oh. I love him, Tommy, really. No, you don't. No, you don't. 
Jim will make his own decision. But he will have the facts. Your brother is ten times the man you are. No, man. That's, like, fair play to Tommy. Like, that is actually a 100 IQ play. That's not very high. I'm fucking stupid. That's, like, a 1,000 IQ play. Yeah, no, he's completely just fucking sold her out. She's, she hasn't changed, like I said. Just hope you remember who you're dealing with here. A man who cuts off ears and cuts out tongues. Yeah, but Tommy's not that bad of a guy. I mean, I, I know he's meant to be the protagonist, but, like, he comes across as if he has morals, do you know what I mean? And that's what makes, that's what makes him likeable. Like, he's obviously not a good person, but he has, like, morals that he sticks to. I offered Lizzie some money. And John, she said yes. You take the keys, take Lizzie to the country, marry her. He won't. He won't, right? No way. But you have to know. She said yes. Is he going? Nah, nah, nah. Come on, bro. Yeah, I mean, I guess you want, you, you want someone to raise your kids, right? But, like, <clears throat> not a prostitute. That's not who you want to raise your kids. Okay, that's sus. I mean, it's, yeah, it wouldn't be good experiencing what he's experiencing. She still sees a couple of regulars. <laughs> Must have come and hit you. Well, it's all right, man. Just leave her. Like that's all you gotta do, and it's all it's done. Ready, boys? Wait, I thought. Are they not teaming up with the Lee family, or are they fucking cutting them up? What? What are you staring at me for? What? Bro, beef is about to go down, the man. There's a girl in the Lee family. He's gone a bit wild. And she needs money. Ah, fuck, John. I'm oh, bloody marrying some fucking mushroom bigger. But if you marry her, our family and the Lee family will be united forever. That seems a bit unfair. That's not very nice, but, you know, I guess, yeah, no. That's a bit shit, isn't it? Where's this bitch, bro? Will he do? He'll do. Hey! <laughs> oh, mate, that's weird still, though. There she is. She better be under 50. Better be under 50. Yeah, hopefully she's an adult as well. That'd be cool. He's still not seen her, bro. He's just kneeling. <laughs> I guess that's how weddings work. Is she gonna be a minger, bro? Which is sanctioned and honored by the president. Oh, never mind. Never mind. She looks pretty. <laughs> you, but the two families become the one. Ow. Family. Ow, blood. Wait. What if, what if one of them's got AIDS? It's over for them. This is actually probably better. This is actually probably a lot better than like. Her, him marrying the prostitute so you know this is a win we don't know her but like you know she looks nice so it's calm I tried stopping her but she's been drinking been stuck in that little basement for weeks what to expect oh is she drinking she's pregnant bro don't yeah nah she's pregnant she shouldn't be drinking and fucking spinning she uses his brother's wives for them he hunts his own sister down like a rat and he tries yeah. to kill his own brother in law! <sighs> Holy shit. Water. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this pregnancy went pretty fucking fast. I mean, I guess there's probably time gaps between the episodes, but. <sighs> no, I don't want to watch the pregnancy. I always find, like, pregnancies in, like, on TV just, like, really. Like, uh. No, no, Freddie will be there. Nothing will keep him away. Tommy said it's all right for him to be there. These guys are just like drunk all the time, aren't they? I think it's that lovely barmaid that's made our brother go all soft. Drinks to that. It is as well, though. Fair play to Frederick. Here he comes. <laughs> this, is a, this is a funny shot. How do they cut the umbilical cord in these times? Oh no, that's... Wait, did... Did Tommy set him up? 
I mean, how else would he? Why else would that? Yeah, yeah. That's why we cut. Yeah, I assume he did. But the police came and took his father away. Oh, it was. You it was. Liar. It was Grace. It was Grace. She told them. Right, because Johnny fucking said it. Yeah, she did it. Oh yeah. Does Tommy look kind? Of, I I don't know if I'm just like misinterpreting Tommy's look there, but he kind of looked like he knew that it was her. Fucking pause. The episode won't pause. Yeah, man. So it looked to me like Tommy fucking. Yeah. So so great. Grace definitely. Told Campbell that Freddie was gonna be there, right? Because John like said it when he was drunk, and yeah. But like at the end, yeah, I kind of thought Tommy was like figured out that it's her, because it's like now there's been like three times that he's sort of been sus of her, right? So like he's gonna have to find out eventually, and I hope that like, he does figure it out, and I hope it's not too late. But I wonder what's actually gonna happen with. Tommy and uh, Grace, because like Tommy, uh, Tommy genuinely cares for her, I think. and uh, I think Grace, like, there's like start, there's starting to be a, more of like a rift between Grace and Campbell. So I'm just wondering if she's gonna like, like I keep saying, if she's gonna like just betray Campbell for Tommy, you know? I don't know. And then who knows? This episode was really good man like so much stuff happened in that i can't even yeah i can't even remember it all like johnny had a nice little arc in there yeah man I, 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 this show just really makes you want to keep watching like it hangs over plot threads really enticingly bro so yeah i think that's about all i gotta say for today I will be watching the next episode. I'll try and I'd, I'd watch it tomorrow instead of waiting like ages before I watch the next episode. So yeah, uh, full unedited reaction will be up on Patreon right now as of recording this. Uh, you can get uh, one week early access if you pledge on, pa <laughs> pledge on Patreon. You want to pledge on that? Nah, okay, right. Yeah, okay. Bye, lads. Welcome back to episode number five of me speculating whether or not grace is gonna go native i, I want to know like i want tommy to figure out that she is a spy because like he's had plenty of fucking clues at this point and he's clever like he's clearly intelligent we've seen that so come on man figure it out you can you can do it bro the difficulty with undercover work grace is to remember what you are yeah that looks like a hint that grace is gonna go native right Gotta remember who you are, blah, blah, blah. Okay, yeah, so Freddy got, like... Yeah, feds came in and nicked my G at the end of last episode. Oh, oh, the police came and took his father away. That's a really good performance, by the way. She's sick. I'm pretty sure she's dead now. Rest in peace to her. But... Yeah, her and Tommy have fucking really good performances. I mean, all the performances in this show are, like, good. So, fair play to these actors. That just made me realise, if Helen McRory's dead, then, like, how... She's probably not in the final season. Season six has just come out, right? I don't know. I guess we'll have to see. We'll get there eventually, guys. Don't worry. Why is, oh, is she, is she upset? I mean, she probably is a bit upset that Freddy's in prison. Babies don't have principles. <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah, you can't let, do, let the baby have the shit, my G. I need to stop calling everyone my G, to be honest. He's been tortured, probably. Yeah, there you go. It's the last time I'm going to say this. It wasn't me who shot Freddie Thorne. I'd ask you to swear on the Bible. Nothing you hold sacred. You don't believe him. I mean, I understand why. There's no reason why how it could be anyone else, but it's Grace, right? Like, surely Tommy knows it's Grace. It, like, he must know at this point, right? Black Star Day. It's the day we take out Billy Kimber and his men. Everyone in my family hates me. What would I tell them? Damn. Yeah, I can understand. Like to be like a properly strong leader for his family, like he's gonna like 
make it. It's going to be polarizing. Like he's going to make them not like him. It's a bit sad, really, but. I'll tell you what. Life work. Dad. Oh, dad. Dad. Yeah, bro on Patreon said that their dad left, but I didn't expect him to be back. Finish your sandwich and sling your. Pretty sure that's her brother as well. They're the family, aren't you? How are you, son? Get out. Yeah, fair enough. Oh, son, get out of this house. Tommy, he's different. You shut up. I mean, he's not different, most likely. They don't have to give him a chance. Tommy's deadpan expression is pretty good. He's a selfish bastard. You calling someone a selfish bastard? Oh, no, oh, no. You want to see him, Arthur? You want to see him? You go with him. This is not good. You don't want the fucking core group to split up. That's really not good for the. Uh, yeah, that's really not good for the preservation of the business. I thought Danny was bang was dead. Yeah, that was a show to satisfy the wops. Tommy just shot some sheep's brains at him. But why does everyone just tell fucking her everything? I mean, maybe Arthur's just a dumbass, but I, Tommy, like, actually trusts her, I think. I mean, I, yeah, but, like, I feel like... It's, it's kind of pissing me off that Tommy hasn't, like, sussed her out. Like, unless he has and he's just playing some kind of long game, which is possible, because... Yeah, that's the type of thing Tommy would do. But like, if he if he genuinely hasn't figured out that she at least might be a spy, then come on, man. There's a fortune to be made here. The Shelby Casino and Hotel. It's an interesting business plan: casino and hotel. How much? How much to get started? He's prob the dad's probably going to fuck them over by the end of the episode, though. I can see that coming. Go fuck Arthur over. It would make my heart beam, but I don't want to cause any discord. Yeah, there you go. There it is. There it is. Saying he can do something and then just not. Tommy's not the only one in the family with an head for business. I think he is. Arthur, if you were good at business, you'd be like, you'd be in charge. Well, that one you, Come on, boy. I'm what? Well, your... Okay, so now he's had. Well, that's a bit fucking. Okay. <laughs> this is a bit. Cool, isn't it? Like he he doesn't want to fight his dad and his like you don't like he's not fighting back. Why 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 would you you wouldn't you wouldn't He doesn't want to fight his dad bro like why his dad does not give a sh I mean obviously his dad doesn't give a shit about him, I knew that already, but like he's making it abundantly clear that he doesn't care. Yeah, and the thing is this is gonna look bad for the peaky blinders. What? Uh, you know, maybe it's a good thing that Bro left the family. Arthur should be seeing the red flags. Arthur, out of anyone, should know that uh, their dad's not a good guy, though. Ryan told you he was a member of the Irish Republican Army. He's on a... Yeah. He's still welcome. He's trying to figure out who killed the guy, and it was Grace. What a bitch. By membership and blood, he was my cousin. I'm a man of influence there. Water would be grand, Mr. He's a bit unsettling, the way, the way his eyes are. I wonder what the guy's going to propose they do if Tommy doesn't know who killed the guy. He boasts about a stack of Lewis machine guns and enough belts of ammunition to hold up God's trousers. Who said that? Was that Arthur? Please don't mistake me for a fool. So they're just going to start a gang war, I assume? Because they want the fucking guns. I am judge, jury and executioner. Okay. And hell's fury to you and your little tribe of heathens. Am I making myself clear? Okay, so he's gonna like fucking fuck him up if he doesn't, if Tommy doesn't hand over the guns. Uh, this is gonna cause a problem because he's not gonna hand over the guns, right? So they're gonna end up just having a gang war. Perhaps it is time to unload that burden for the right price. <laughs> I don't think he wants to pay a price, bro. He wants to just. I think the price is him not fucking. Starting a gang war. You and I could work together as a team. Perhaps we have more in common than you think, Inspector. My initials on your backside. It's uh, it's quite an image. <laughs> Who gave you Freddy Thorne? It was you, Mr. Shelby. Why do you, come on, Tommy? Please. 
I don't know if it's just like the thing where like you don't expect women to be like bad. You know what I mean? Like it's just like people in general expect women to be innocent in comparison to men. Maybe that's it, and maybe it's just because he like he's just sort of blinded by the fact that he thinks she's classy and that he likes her, and that's why he doesn't suspect her. But like there are clues stacking up, man. Like you'd think he'd be sus of her at least a bit. It's all there. What? Is, is he just jack money from the Peaky Blinders to give to their dad to start the business even though the dad's not actually going to do it? Fuck's sake. Meet me at the boxing ring. Got Friday. Wait, they're, they're going to fucking sail off somewhere? I mean, I guess he, he's his own guy. You can do that, but... What's wrong? What's wrong with him? See why all right, man. I'm going to come through that door. When they have what they want. They plan to kill me. It's your job to stop that happening. Could have given me some more warning. You're gonna come out with that thing, right? You don't shoot, you just point. And I'll do the rest. Fucking hell. Right, go, go, go. Fuck, on, man. Go. There's like no preparation. She's good. Oh, bro. I would not trust her with this. I mean, I wouldn't just. I wouldn't trust her because she's the spy, but you know what I mean, bro? I mean, I guess he, he seems. Yeah, I mean, he's flustered, right? He doesn't usually get flustered, so he's clearly like very desperate in this situation, so he's just going, like, because this is not a, a good plan, you know what I mean? But it's, like, the best thing you can come up with in, in the circumstances, I think. If damage is done to either side, it's not concern of ours. Here they are. Give me the cash. They're actually, okay, they are paying for it. Fair enough. You thick fucking tinker. Do you think we'd let you live? Yeah, I mean... I, I saw this coming. <laughs> what? She's not meant to shoot. She wasn't meant to shoot. Why did she shoot? Wait, no, why did she shoot? Yeah. Fuck, holy shit. Oh. Why did she shoot? I mean, I guess they already had guns raised, but so I, I guess maybe she saw the guns raised and just shot because... She thought they'd shoot if she didn't. Oh, he's imagining it's like... Is he getting... Yeah, he's getting choked. He's like... Flashbacks to the war. Fuck. Yeah, they, that's, that's it. That's, 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 that's how you win. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh... Oh my god. <laughs> I bet Grace is traumatized now. She wasn't already. She he's mashed, bro. Like we could, we're not getting proper angle, but he's his face is mashed. Why did you shoot? Why did you shoot Grace? I didn't know how it did me like that. I'm sorry. This isn't fake, right? Like she's not acting here. Like she actually likes him. Unless she's just like, unless she's just relieved. You're supposed to come in the sixth chime. You were supposed to come in the fucking sixth chime! I'll leave you two lovebirds to it, then, eh? I wonder if he's gonna report to Campbell saying that they were hugging, like... I assume Campbell, like, is Campbell gonna get sus that she's gonna betray? She's definitely gonna betray Campbell. And, like, I was thinking this last episode, I feel like she might die at the end of the season. I think Campbell might kill her. That's what I'm suspecting. <sighs> Damn, that was insane. Like when you people like desperately fighting for their lives, like it's it's just such gripping like thing to watch, man. It's it's just so yeah. That was sick. That was a really cool scene. Just human instinct takes over, man. I'm sorry. Yeah, he shouldn't have made her do that, but I guess he didn't. <laughs> have much choice. I'm like sure she likes him now, like almost 100% sure. And when you enter the room, you're embracing. Oh, he's, he's... Is that your primary concern? He said the thing. You've been living with beasts. It was the beast that tried to stop me.
Did she just kill them because they're IRA and like her parents were killed by IRA? I no longer feel the need to avenge my father. The hatred that I brought here with me is gone. Okay, yeah. I want to resign. Oh. I think our mission has come to a natural end. I want your word that Tommy Shelby will not be harmed if the guns are recovered. I think he's gonna kill her. He's gonna kill her next episode, man. Residue of sympathy. Sympathy, you mean she, sentiment. She actually loves him and he's figuring out. You have my word. He's not keeping that. I don't, I don't trust this guy. And the grave that they dug was far deeper than your average. And lined with lead. Oh. To keep out the dead. Okay, so the, the, the guns are in Danny's grave, right. I should have known this already, probably, but I know I know now. Uh, okay, they're digging it up. Uh, yeah, Arthur's been planning to leave with the dad as well, hasn't he? Oh, is he, he he's just not going to turn up to their meeting, and then he's not going to go. That's what's going to happen. You know what? She doesn't have to die next episode. I just can't. I I wouldn't be surprised if she did, but she actually might not die. She could just could become part of like the gang for future seasons and I'm worn by the weather. yeah but when, when when tommy finds out that they found the guns like or maybe or maybe what's going to happen is that like tommy's gonna tommy's definitely gonna figure out that that she was a spy and then he's just gonna get rid of her even though she likes him maybe that's what's gonna happen oh what regulations permit me to offer you this oh fuck off bro no i thought <laughs> I thought he wanted to be a father figure. Fuck off. You're like 70, bro. I don't ask for love in return. I just... You don't ask for love in return, but you're proposing. Will you marry me? <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. I didn't see that coming. I really didn't. This guy's a fucking weirdo. Is it the beast that dug that grave? Is it him? Oh, fuck, man. It is. It is him. I don't think he would marry her any... I don't think she would marry him anyway, even if Tommy wasn't there. I'm not going to lie. I mean, she might have said yes, but, like, I don't think she'd want to marry him. Yeah, Arthur's dad's not turned up. He's just fucked off with the money, as I... As I... Okay. Oh, there he is. Shelby Casino. In Atlantic City. I'm not so acquainted with that promised land as I had thee believe. What a prick. You're a fucking liar. Yeah. And a thief. Now you give me back my fucking money. Is he gonna fight? I have starved for so very long. If he fights him, that'll just be sort of like a full circle of him getting punched up earlier. Put your hands on me again, I'll cut your fucking throat and spread you on these tracks. Fucking hell. He really does not give any kind of shit about his family. At all. What were you thinking? Oh yeah, he took the money from them. Something like that without talking to Thomas or me. Yeah, that's not good. But you're gonna tell him. Oh. Okay. Arthur's gonna tell him. Okay, Finn's gone and figured out. Okay, now Tommy's like, oh, fucking cock and... Tommy's like, oh, shit, cock and balls, bro. That's what he's like right now. He has proved a deadly menace. Oh, fuck's sake. He's just pissed off that Tommy stole his girl, bro. <laughs> Next episode is going to go crazy, isn't it? Bro, he's so... Yeah. Uh, he probably, like, took the brunt of their dad's abuse when he was younger, though. And you just really wanted, like, there to be change. But I guess... Guess not. In the lane? Oh, fuck. That's not good. Are they, wait, is this the peaky cock and balls house? They're ra- they're ra they Oh, yeah, it is. They're actually raiding it. I assume we're not gonna see any kind of face off this episode. Maybe just, like, a near getaway and then a regroup for a big final face off next episode. I'm looking for Thomas Shelby. Never heard of him. <laughs> Why would you say that, you dumbass? A, you're an idiot. Like, don't say that. I don't care if you live or die. I don't know. Yeah, I feel like you might just shoot him regardless. He left with Grace. With the bot. Oh, shit. Is she going? I think they were going to her place. She's going to die. 
He's going to fucking kill Grace by accident. That's what Campbell is going to do. I'm telling you, man. She's All of us! All of us! That's an interesting reaction. I mean, I understand that he doesn't want to hurt Grace, but like... Huh. I want a man who drinks tea. See, the thing is, the reason I think she's going to die is because, like, I feel like their romance can't really develop because, like, Tommy's a gang leader. He can't, like, really do that. That's not really something he can do. When will it die down, do you think? Light, I'd say. <laughs> but not until the morning, then. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm, I'll stop. He actually listens to what she likes. He cares. I mean, obviously, uh, yeah, we know he cares about her, but I'm just pointing out the subtle details because I don't know, man. I analyze Phil. Oh, bro. is Oh, no. Is he going to go on his own? Oh, he's going to fucking shoot her. He is. I'm telling you, man. He's going to fucking shoot her. Surely it won't be this episode. I assume he's just not going to approach this episode. But he is. I'm so sure he's going to fucking shoot her, man. Oh. Oh. No, don't take off the don't take off the long socks, bro. Is this 18? Is there actually is there like nudity allowed in this or not? Because like they're doing a pretty good job at avoiding actual nudity so far. See this is this this is actually this is actually kind of like well done because you can't I like I like I like this scene because like all the Freddy and Ada ones just look really fucking dumb. This this actually looks like passionate and stuff. I don't know how long this is going to go on for, bro. Yeah, no. Actually, well done scene. This show's good. I need to point that out. Like, this is good. Like, f movies and TV shows are, like, just shit nowadays, generally. This is a good show. Will you help me? Help you with what? With everything. You want someone you can, like, trust completely and just tell everything to. Like, I can imagine why you'd, like, really want that in the situation he's in. But, like, when he finds out that she was a spy, he's going to fucking... Fuck her off. Or she's gonna die. One of the two. <laughs> oh fuck, I didn't re- I, di I didn't really think of anything of it when he got the fucking skipping rope. I just realised what's going on. He's not- Oh man. I mean, I don't think he's gonna die, but like- That's Who's gonna stop him? <laughs> Wait, no, 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 hold it, come on, come on now. You can see it getting smaller as it pulls away. No, w wait, nah. No, he's not actually, no, 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 come on. I'm, I'm, I'll be shocked if, like, if, okay, yeah, I was gonna fucking say, if he, if he actually died, I would be so shocked. I, th I actually thought they were gonna do it, though, a bit. <laughs> Um, holy shit, man. Is she gonna kill- Or maybe she he's gonna intentionally kill Grace out of, like, jealousy. Or maybe he's just gonna tell Tommy that she's the spy to try and break- I don't know, there's, like, loads of things that's gonna happen. Regardless, I don't think their relation- Like, Tommy and Grace are gonna end up together and good, you know? Oh, shit. Are you laughing at me, Tommy? Your name on a business card? Shelby Brothers Limited. You are one of three shareholders. We are equal partners. And it is written in the paperwork in black and white. Well, me and John, we quite fancy splitting your share, so just next time. Who's a gunman? <laughs> He's given him what he wanted. He, yeah, he just wanted to like feel like he was as good as Tommy. That's probably why he went to go do the business thing, because he just felt like, oh yeah, I can go and do this business. I mean, that is literally what he said. Happy little ending there, bro. Too bad next episode's gonna go far o'clock, but you know. Bro, everything's really happy right now, and I know it's gonna go down the fucking shit next episode, man. Like, if they're ending episode five so happily, there is no way next episode is gonna, ep next episode is gonna be bittersweet, bro. It's not gonna be fucking happy. Okay, that was, that episode was sick. Again, like, this show just doesn't miss, really. Like, it's just got better as it's gone along. As I said, Grace has, like, fully gone to 
loving Tommy now, like she's fully on Tommy's side now, as I said would happen. But like I keep saying throughout this recording, I think she's going to die next episode. Like I have a very strong feeling she's going to die. And at the very least, her and Tommy, there's no way that like, they're actually, because like, I, I think Tommy like kind of wants to like have a relationship with her, like get marry her or something, do you know what I mean? And he wants a significant other who he can tell everything to and just be completely himself and honest with because as the leader of the Peaky Blinders, he has to just put on a persona all the time. And even like with his brothers, like I doubt he tells all of them everything and is always honest with them because even by even like with them, he has to be seen as like a strong masculine leader. So he can't, he's never going to be completely honest about it, about, about how he feels with them. And I think he really wants that in Grace, but it's Campbell... Campbell is either going to kill her or he or like I mean for sure Tommy's going to find out next episode that she was a spy and he's I don't think he'll want to be with her after that but regardless like he can't be with with uh, Grace being like a gang leader like that it just doesn't really work like you just like you just can't do that it's just it's just makes you too vulnerable if you have a significant other honestly yeah man this episode was sick also, little B plot with Arthur, I like that. Didn't feel like he was adequate enough. I can imagine it must be pretty embarrassing being like the older brother and uh, not being like in charge, which I guess the dad highlighted at the start because he assumed Arthur was in charge when he isn't. And Arthur just wanted to prove that he could like make his own money moves, do his own business stuff, and he just really wanted his dad to be a dad again, but yeah i mean like i said from the beginning it was never going to work out but like he was just kind of he just let his feelings uh overtake his logic honestly like he, like arthur's met like clearly like characterizes a little bit of a dumbass but i don't think he's that much of a dumbass like i think he just let his feelings get the better of him because i, I think he deep down he knew his dad was a prick but like it, and their dad is horrible like he literally said like oh yeah took like he literally beat up his son and then when Arthur like tried to fight him, he's like, oh yeah, I'll slit your throat and fucking put you on the train tracks. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's insane. I actually feel like I've said a lot at the end of this episode. I feel like, because I feel like I've been thinking that like, I need to say more at the end of the episode to just talk about the show. And I haven't said that much in the beginning episodes. I think that's just because I'm starting a new show and I don't like I'm not properly into it. I don't know enough about it. But like as the as the as the story like builds and I know more about the characters and the story crescendos, like I have the ability to just talk more about it and just yeah. So yeah, this was a sick episode. Every shit's gonna fucking hit the fan next time, so tune in for that. Uh, but the full, unedited, the full unedited reaction to that should be up on Patreon right now if you want to check that out and early access to that episode will be out right now on Patreon so go over there if you want to I'll see you man later bye bye okay shit is about to hit the fucking fan uh, I feel like shit today I, I, I just feel really tired so hopefully I've got energy I feel like I've got energy now even though it's 8pm but you know, finale, season finale, bro. No way. Season finale. Okay, right, I'll watch. I'm going to watch the episode now. I don't know if for, like, the unedited reactions, like, I'm. it'd be better for people if I did a countdown to when I press play. Uh, let me know, sip tea, if, if, if you would like me to do that. Anyway, let's go. Also, I just to clarify, I have read the description of the episode, so I know that we're preparing to take on Billy Kimber. Yes. Oh, as if this dickhead actually proposed to her last episode. What a dumbass. Is it him? <laughs> Who is the suit, man? Okay. Campbell's here. Why is Campbell here? That man come here for a certain purpose. What? What is he doing? What the fuck is he doing? What's he coming there for? Okay, whatever. We'll find out, I guess. Well, oh, Arthur's, Arthur's dead. Okay, he's not dead, he's alive. What's going on? We're doing it today. 
Okay, we're doing it today. The whip. Oh, fuck off. Okay, it's Johnny, that's fine. I thought it was Freddy. Obviously, it's not Freddy and Ada. I thought it was, though. I've told you to keep the door locked. Not knocking. <laughs> Bro just really walked in on it. I know how he is. But he does what he does for us. Not like... She doesn't hate my driller, even though she thinks he sold him out. Sold out Frederick. So that's fun. After today, there'll be no need for prayers. I'll be set. Bro, it's season one. You're not... Uh, there's definitely not going to be set, bro. You're season one, and you're going to face some more dangerous shit down the line. Come on. What? Mr. John said that you're a special, special customer. Uh, uh, what's going on? Uh, blood. Do you want to take off your boots? Yes. Uh, uh, <laughs> what the fuck? What's going on? So tight. This is so odd. What? What is he doing, bro? Grace is gonna die this episode. Just saying. Old men who lost their wives, they come here all the time. I'll ah, that's terrifying. Why is she like such a friend? Well, she's just like a, a friendly prostitute. Yeah, bro, looks like he's having lots of fun there. Okay. My drill. So he's just upset and has gone to a prostitute. Maybe maybe he's not going to kill. I, I mean, no, you know what? I think Grace is going to die. I've said it. That's my prediction, bro. That's what I think. Oh. <laughs> what? Okay, I don't know what. What the fuck? I know exactly what you did. And with whom you gave yourself to the man who is our sworn enemy. It is disgusting What's... beyond all measure. You have betrayed every principle and standard of honor that was your birthright. <laughs> and for what? <laughs> this scene is upsetting me. Uh, I mean, at least she just like admitted she loves Tommy. I guess that's pretty wholesome. You're a special, special customer. Uh, what did he do? I thought that was like a herpes mark, but nah, he's like fucking her. Damn, oh yeah. Man actually let out his anger. That's pretty not nice. Oh, that's uh, that's horrible, bro. I'm unarmed. <laughs> oh, you came here to clean up the city. Not to sleep with his whores. <laughs> and no doubt he intends to congratulate me on finding those stolen guns. And you still don't know how we found them, do you? Oh, shit. Yeah, he needs to find out about Grace. Before the day is over, your heart will be broken. Yeah. Just the same as mine. I think that's likely. I agree. <laughs> you forget, Inspector. I have my family. True! Wholesome. Wholesome Thomas Shelby moments. Compilation part 412. But yeah, like, when he finds out Grace is, was the fucking spy, like... Ah! Not good. You never talk about them. Heartbreaks even when I think about them. She has dead children, I think. We're gonna hear about them, though. Okay. Sally was three. Michael was five. Well, it's two weeks away from being six. Stolen in a robbery and they said some porter at the hotel had been coshed. And when the police came, they found a spirit still, making a few drops of gin. They took my children from me. They never told me where they took them. Okay, so they're not necessarily... They did it because they could and because I was weak. They would never take your baby away from you. Because Tommy won't let them walk all over us. Mm-hmm. Now it is Tommy that has brought strength and power to this family. True. Because I want you to forgive him. How can I? There's something about today you need to know. Ooh. Are we breaking Freddy out of jail? Anyway, yeah, so her kids aren't dead, right? So that's interesting. So they could exist in the show. Not going to get as far as Brixton Prison. Was she involved in the discovery? Does she deserve some kind of commendation? <laughs> oh, no. So they'll go free? Not quite, sir. See, I have plans for the Peaky Blinders. 
He's just going to try and fuck them up as much as he can, right? While he's got the chance. Understand? Well, I mean, he's still a dickhead, but you know. And Kimba thinks we're going there to help him fight the Lee brothers. The Lees are now our kin. I interrupted those efforts this morning, and uh, I can assure you all, John is making great sacrifices. <laughs> what about Kimber himself? I'll deal with Kimber. Oh, does anyone object if I bring a newcomer to the meeting? Was it Ada? Or Freddy? I'd like to introduce the newest member oh, okay. of the Shelby clan. My, what's the kid called? We named him Carl. After Carl Marx. Carl bloody Marx. Oh, that's cringe, bro. Am I forgiven? If what Aunt Polly says is true, you are. It's true. Swag. Okay, so they are breaking out Freddy. The kid's my ass. Peaky blinders. Tommy, Tommy, Tommy. That's pretty cool. He broke a Freddy out. That's a nice little... I didn't think he really gave a shit, but I guess they they were like war comrades, so fair enough. That's a cool shot as well. That is a really cool shot. And it's going to pan up to see... Oh, yeah, this is sick. Yeah. What? Oh, it's Danny. Well, the next one's for you. Danny, you're dead. Nah, I've been living in London. Same <laughs> thing. Yeah, well, yeah, true. Freddy wouldn't know he was dead. He wasn't dead. Next family meeting. I'll make sure you're there. If I were family, but I'm not. I could change. Really? You wait to get home for me. So what time do you call this? <laughs> the barony is changing. What's up with her? What is up with her, though? Does she just, like, feel bad about the fact that she was the spy, so she's just not want to talk to him? Yeah, okay, that's probably it. When you come back from the races, I won't be here. I am going to make a success of it. I am. I know. I know. We know each other. We can talk. We're the same. I have done something terrible to you. Just heard there's two vans driving up the Stratford Road. An old corporal of mine said he recognised some of the men. He said it's the Kimber boys. Oh, is she just is she snitched of the on the fucking plan? Are you kidding me? Why? There's just no need. All the ladies are on the way to Worcester were outnumbered. But who else knew today was the day you were moving on, Kim? There's only one thing can blind a man as smart as you, Tommy. Love. Is that barmaid? Why would why? Why would she tell why would she snitch about that though? Like she did her job, right? Like, I don't get why she would continue to snitch. Like, what is the point? Turned out that copper as good as told him this morning, but I wanted to hear it from your own lips. Ooh, oh shit. Stand off. Oh, oh. I am an agent of the Crown. What? I have the power to arrest and the right to use force. I'll fight you with my fists and show you how a rich girl fights. I'm from a tough family too. Okay, well, maybe, maybe is this, maybe is this gonna happen? Nah. Okay, no. I didn't think so. Bro, why the fuck? I don't get why she would, like, snitch on the Kimber plan, unless unless she snitched on it. Like, but, but how would she know the day? Like, oh, how did she know? She always did know the exact day. She did. Oh, yeah. She did. Okay, yeah. So maybe she snitched before she decided she was going to betray Campbell and choose Tommy. I, yeah, okay, I think that's what happened. Fair. You saved his life the night the coppers came. That's why we're drinking, not fighting. What was he like? Before France? He laughed. A lot. He wanted to work with horses. Oh, man. He might forgive you. No, he might take you in. Can never tell with men. I will never forgive you. Oh. Or accept you. Damn. And if you're not gone from this city by tomorrow, I'll kill you myself. Holy shit. Damn. I suppose, like, Polly is kind of like the glue that holds the family together. So it makes sense, yeah. She can't really stay with uh, if Polly doesn't accept her. But, like, damn, is it, she just threatened, she's, I'll kill you myself, what the fuck? You're mostly in the war, so you know the battle plans always change and get fucked up. Well, here it is. We fight for me today. Yeah. Hello. That pub there is called the Garrison. Well, now it really is one. But it belongs to us. 
No, I reckon we're outnumbered three to one. Ah, fuck. But it's us. Ah, come on. Yeah, you're the protagonists. Benny Shelby man dies here today. You better your side by side. Nah, come on, man. It's a three, uh, three to one fight. That's like that's literally just a fair fight for the for protagonists of a fucking TV show or movie. So we're big chilling, bro. I don't know what we might take some losses though. I'm not sure who, but we'll see. Let the beasts devour each other, and then we shall pick the bone. Okay, fair plan. I think what it is, you're bad men, but you're how a bad men. Yeah. That's the vibe, for real. She's in the past. I'm sad, man. Tommy, they're here! Bro, the Finn opening the door made me jump. I was just so immersed in that little thing, with what he was saying there, Dad. Uh, <clears throat> okay, here we go. Shit, man. It's about to fucking... Do you think Danny and Freddy are gonna turn up? Yeah, that's like four people, bro. We, we've won easily. Come on. Yeah. Weapons out, boys. Oh shit, man. Okay, yeah, they are like pretty fucking outnumbered. To be fair. So what do we do now? Just give the order. Yeah, what the fuck are they gonna do now? Like they just sort of just stood there, bro. That's stress. That's like so. That looks like such a fucking difficult situation to. Get out of, right? Like, well, I I don't know how they're gonna pull this off. I mean, I assume they're gonna take some losses, but like, yeah, I don't know. Shit. When you made that speech about cleaning this place up, oh yeah, I gave a little cheer inside. I am not looking the other way, Sergeant Moss. I am looking directly at the events of the day, and I like what I see. He's just corrupt as fuck. He's just no better than like, just because he's like under the law. He, he's no better than like Billy or Tommy or you know. We have to use guns. Let's use proper guns. Oh, true. The man them's here. You were saying something about being outgunned. What's gonna, bro? How's this gonna work? What are you doing? I believe you boys call this no man's land. Aza, shut up and listen. Have you lost your mind? I said shut What's up. What's going on? What the fuck? <laughs> I've got brothers and a husband here, but you've all got somebody waiting for you. I want you all to look at me. She's gonna convince him not to fight. And fight if you want to. But that baby ain't moving anywhere. But... And neither am I. Well, that's a bit irresponsible. Like. You can sacrifice yourself if you want, but don't fucking put the baby there, like, come on. It should just be them who's caused it. Oh, man. Tommy got... Did Tommy get... Tommy got shot, yeah. But Danny did as well. Oh. Did us? <laughs> Holy shit. Kimber and me fought this battle one-on-one. -on -one. It's over. Wow, so Danny actually died in the end. I mean, honestly, like, it's probably better that he died out of anyone, really. It's better that he died out of anyone, I think, because he was the one struggling most with PTSD, from what I can tell, so... But he still had a family, right? Oh, man, that's... that's... that's not... Yeah. At least they avoided having any, like, any more conflict. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay, he did get shot. Holy shit, that's so close to his heart. Oh my god. I didn't- I thought he didn't- Okay, so he- Oh man. That's horrible. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, as long as the bullet's out, hopefully you'll be alright. As long as you- Oh shit, man. That's pretty. Oh yeah, that's really cool, how he like- said where he'd like to be buried and like what he'd want for his death but like at the start of the series so we already know that we all die twice yeah man danny whizbang for real bro the day is ours let's celebrate does everyone want to celebrate i mean i guess it's a, it is a victory honestly like 
only Danny dying is pretty best case scenario, to be honest, really, and for what they what happened to him. Agitator Freddie Thorne was taken from his transport. He managed to escape easily, and he's now at large. <laughs> Shelby's will get away with murder, just like they always have. Nah, bro's pissed. He is upset, man. Like he wants, he wanted revenge on Tommy, and I guess he's like, Tommy's lost grace. But like, he's not, he's not, he's not satisfied with his work. You know what? I think I was wrong about Grace and dying. So you know, guess, I guess there's that. I have made a decision about my future. Is he just gonna leave the force? I feel like he's probably gonna do that. Ooh, hoo, hoo, oh shit! Everyone's leaving town. I didn't see this coming. Mm hmm. Here it comes, Dan. I love you. He's not saying it back. And there it goes, Grace. We can say it as much as we like. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the right choice, right? If it wasn't for her, Danny would be alive. This address. Finish your business here and join me. He's not gonna though, right? Like, obviously not. The Shelby Brothers Limited. I mean, it was a pretty hard day for him, man. The idea of New York is interesting. But I have worked so hard for this day. I have responsibilities here. For people I need to protect. And people who I love. Polly tells me you fell in love for real. And Polly is never wrong about matters of the art. I will give you my decision within three days. There's gonna be a fucking cliff a cliffhanger over into series two. That's interesting. Is that happening or not? Or are we gonna find it out right now? So he's gonna be there. Oh fuck! Oh my god! Wait, <laughs> wait! Oh, true! Oh man, that's insane! Holy shit! Holy fuck! Bro, I, I was, I was, I literally was out here being like, oh yeah, nah, I was wrong about Grace dying. Yeah, I, I was just wrong about it. And he's like, oh no, she's just gonna get found out by Tommy and then they're not gonna end up being together. What? She. <laughs> okay. I actually th totally thought I was wrong, but no, fucking last second. Dead. I mean, okay, we didn't see the gunshot. Right, we didn't see the gun, so we didn't actually see her die, so it's possible she's alive, but like... I'd take that as a very heavy implication that she's dead, and I predicted, I literally predicted that Cambo would shoot her. But I, I didn't, I didn't, I honestly, I honestly didn't think Cambo would kill her deliberately. To be honest, I thought he'd just like be trying to go for Tommy and then just sort of, she'd get caught in the fray and he'd end up shooting her. That was... The kind of thing that I thought would happen, but honestly, thinking about some of the stuff Campbell has said and some of the stuff he's done that over this series, like it's honestly not surprising that he shot her because he he is he is a he is a horrible person, bro. Like the, the line that really sticks to me was where when he said talking talk about putting Finn in like the nonce prison, bro, and the pedo prison, bro. Like damn, and the way he would like. He tortured him for, like the got the Stanley guy to be whipped to death, bro. Yeah, man. Okay, so that's that, that's the first season over. Um, I really enjoyed that episode. I expected it to be like more action filled because honestly, I'd say the previous episode was more action filled, but this was like more sort of slow and mellow and more just like talking. But like, that's not a bad thing at all because that is really where the highlight of TV shows and movies is in the characters and their interactions and the moments we see with them. And yeah, man, there, there was a lot of good stuff in there. Let's talk about like that little final face off between Kimber's men and the Peaky Blinders. I that, that was insane, bro. Yeah, all right, Peter Danny. Uh, I think it's really nice it's, it's, it's like he's just come full circle like first episode 
he has a fake out death last episode he actually dies like and it's cool because in that first episode where he genuinely thought he was going to die he like made some requests for what he'd like to happen after his death which can not which is like just nice because now like the uh, Tommy knows what they are so they can be honored now that he's really dead yeah man I, I think it's really nice I think it's really cool that Tommy ended up uh, breaking Freddy out of prison I thought it was really interesting that Ada like managed to stop them fighting Billy Kimber's death was funny I just laughed at that but yeah man and it's it's the fact the fact that the Tommy's relationship with like Tommy actually fell in love with Grace. It's just so sad because yeah, like that's what Sip T said on Patreon about yeah, that's that's what one of my patrons said. He's he said um, that yeah, like she's the first person to thaw thaw Tommy's heart since being in the war, and it's yeah, it's just it's just sad like. Do you know what I mean like he's clearly like because I, I, like, we know he suppresses a lot of emotion like he's he's probably really really upset about that and uh, yeah because you saw him like hang his head at the end of that episode with Polly at the bar and you could sort of tell like like he he probably could have cried over that but yeah man I think it's really nice like how. Polly and Ada for, like for, have forgiven Tommy for like allowing Freddy to get arrested because like without Tommy like who knows how their family would be you know like he's the uh, he's what gives it strength and what makes it so prosperous you know but. Yeah, man. What, what else do I want to talk about? Yeah, Campbell. Campbell is like Campbell is just a horrible person. Genuinely, I just I just don't like him. I mean, they did a very good job of making you not like him. Like, I can't, I, bro. I, I'm I'm I can't believe he actually just shot Grace at the end there. I know I predicted it. I know I've been saying this last few episodes, and. Um, yeah, and my patron like said, "Oh, yeah, this he's probably gonna." Yeah, my patron said, "Oh, it's nice how you're making predictions, blah blah blah." So I sort of assumed I was kind of on the right lines with with uh, the Grace thing, but like that's what I thought anyway. I was like sure she was gonna die, but then like when it, when I looked like, I looked at the episode and it's like, oh well, there's like two minutes left. You know what I mean? She's not gonna die. But oh yeah, that's what I'm surprised. I'm I'm surprised. Like, I don't know if I just didn't listen to the dialogue properly, but I thought Tommy was saying there's like, Grace told Tommy that he loves him. Tommy didn't say it back. He was like, oh yeah, there's no chance. But then uh, he she suggested well she made a suggestion that they go to New York. But obviously Tommy, uh, well he said he'd give her an answer in a few days. Flipped a coin. Or maybe, or maybe what it was meant to be was that he flipped the coin, decided he's not going to New York, so then Grace was just leaving at the station like three days later on her own, and that's when Campbell caught her lacking. Uh, but yeah, may, potentially, yeah, so maybe if Tommy had chosen to go, like he could have saved her and killed Campbell. But like, fuck, man, I'm, as, as if they just killed her like that. I mean, I thought she was going to die, but like, it still shocked me. That still really shocked me, even though like I've been predicting for the last like three episodes that she was going to die. Holy shit. Yeah. I really, I've, I've really enjoyed this series. This has been like, it's just very refreshing to watch this because like, I, I mean, I don't know what you guys watching think, but like, I think TV and movies are just, are just like, shit nowadays most of the most of the time so it's just refreshing to watch something actually good with good characters yeah it's, it's like just good performances good writing like the shelby family is written so well in this like so yeah killian murphy and uh, helen mcrory are particularly my two favorite performers in this show and I think they do such a great job of portraying their characters.
I mean, I think I think the actors of Arthur and Arthur and John both do really uh, both very well acted as well. It's just they're more minor characters than so yeah. But yeah, man. I, I suspect like one once I've once I've got a bit further into the show, like I suspect like Tommy Shelby's gonna become one of my favourite characters ever. That that's what I think, because like it's a very got a very good foundation so far, so I'm excited to see what what going on next. I'm gonna jump straight into season two, like I mean you should see season two I don't know, a week after a week after this. I probably yeah, I mean, yeah, whatever. Yeah, early ac early access to oh actually I think I might leave a gap so that I can be two weeks ahead on Patreon for YouTube. So, but for sure the early like once this is out on YouTube, early early access to uh, season two episode one will be out and the full length reaction up on Patreon. So yeah, thank you for watching, bro. Five more seasons to go, okay. Bye-bye.